Okay folks, so welcome to the next project. Right, what we're going to do in the next series of projects is we're going to try and build a spinning rod. Okay, and I'll just show you around the garage here. There's um, got a few things going on here. There you go, we've got some hickory golf sticks here, which we're in the middle of renovating. And the one just here that we're trying to straighten out. Uh, we're almost there with it. It's uh, kind of got a tiny little kink in it left, but it's not too bad. This is the silversmithing bench here where we do all the soldering for the silversmithing. And here we've got a um, Arabian fish rod from the 70s, uh, which is a nice little split cane rod. Um, it's going to come up about 9 foot, I think. This is one that I made a long, long time ago, um, and it's called the Aberarth Brook because it was used to fish the Aberath Brook a long time ago. <laughs> There's a nice old rod case there by the way if anyone wants one of those. What I found here was a couple of blanks from an old bamboo rod that have had the dam sanded off. Um, so you've basically got um, very very similar to a split cane rod in fact where the rod has had the dam sanded flat. You can see there they've been sanded flat. Um, and you can see that's one of the other ones there. It's got brass ferrules on it and they're pretty strong. They've got a lip mount at the end there which means that this, this was probably a reasonable quality rod in its day when it was first built. Um, cheaper rods would have just had a tube. It has a spinning rod handle which is quite a long and in fact it may be a coarse fishing rod handle. It may just be a coarse, originally have been a coarse rod. I have determined that when I need to cast this rod, I'm going to need to extend the handle to about here. Uh, this blank is pretty straight, so we're going to try and use that. And fortunately also, this blank hasn't had any weighting put into the handle, so we've still got to do that with it. The middle section has had um, a twist lock put onto it. Not by me, by the previous owner. It's also had the dam sanded out, as you can see there. And it's got, I think that's a little bit too short, that, that brass ferrule there, but uh, we'll give it a try first. And then we've got the, the tip section. Now the tip section has, has got a twist lock on it. And it's been rather badly prepared. Uh, it needs to have the varnish stripped off and be carefully sanded out. Um, but it is quite the right length, which is, which is good. I have deliberately chosen a tip length, which is... Uh, slightly heavier than the rest of the rod, possibly a little bit longer because it needs to be trimmed off to fit the uh, the rod ring on the top there. Now it's really difficult to show this but um, you can see as I, as I turn the rod there there is a very slight kink in it. So that's one of the things that we've got to sort out uh, on these videos that I'm going to make about this process. It's actually quite difficult to show that to be honest um, but uh, anyway so that's the blank there, fully extended. And it's been chosen because it's quite stiff. So we have a handle there that's slightly longer than the two tip sections. And uh, they, they, all, they all are in pretty good straight condition. There's a little bit of straightening work still needs to be done. And the tip needs to be cut to the correct length too. So when you uh, choosing a spinning rod blanks, you need blanks that are quite well damped, quite stiff. If you get a rod that oscillates at the tip too much, um, it causes a bird's nest on your fishing reel. So you've got to be really careful that you make sure it, it doesn't um, bounce or oscillate too much. Now this particular rod has a twist lock ferrule on it which I believe is a hardy paint. I have found it a matching side for the tip section there which fits perfectly. Uh. So there we have a nice set of blanks. Uh, this rod is going to wind up being about nine and a half feet I think, maybe nine feet. Um, they are fairly stiff. Um, they also seem to have quite a good power behind them which is nice and we'll try and keep that when we build it. So, the next process is to make sure we get all the varnish off it and we'll maybe have a little section just on that in this video and then after that we'll wait for some of the parts to arrive before we do any more. 
Okay, just to bring this little video to an end, I just wanted to show you roughly um, how the varnish is removed from these old rods. And indeed new rods too, it can be done this way also. And the process is essentially called scorification. And scorification is just where you get um, a flat piece of steel with uh, a reasonable edge on it and you scrape it down the varnish. The varnish of course is a lot softer than the steel and the enamel which is the um, outer skin of the bamboo it's not really enamel, it's, um, it's a plant material but it's called the enamel, the outer skin um, is a much harder material and so when you scrape across it takes the varnish off especially if the varnish is old so I'm just going to show you that this is actually um, the back of a utility knife uh, if you use the front you run the risk of putting little nicks into the timber uh, which you don't really want to do York varnish which is usually what's on here or shellac never actually stops drying so it stays nice and supple in the first two three years and then after a couple of years it starts to get harder and harder and harder and harder slowly year by year by year it becomes more and more and more brittle and you can see that as it on old rods where it's been shrunken away and so you just keep doing that until it's absolutely perfect and you've got all this all this residual varnish here is taken away and um, when you do the whole rod you can scrape down it long ways um, quite drastically actually in, in big big long sweeps just to get rid of it and that's how you remove the varnish from an old rod and that is of course necessary so that you can sand it and get a good finish well folks that brings us to the end of a uh, the first episode of our new road building series. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.